Hello guys. So I bet many of us have have seen this error. There's a critical error on a website when you try to access your your WordPress site. So what can do you do about this? But uh, the first thing you need to know what it what is the cause. So most of the time, this is the cause. Uh, the cause of this problem is there's some scene stack error. Uh, in PHP um, that probably in your plugins the plugins you install or the theme anything so this is uh, my site so I just um, yeah broke it so you can see how to fix so to fix this uh, the, the mandatory thing is you need to be able to edit the code without editing the the code you cannot fix this so you need to access to your server but if you cannot access to your server or you don't know how to do that then um, yeah ask somebody to do that for you and if you need help just uh, give me a call I leave link in the, the, the description so actually for someone who know this um, it is um, the the steps are quite straightforward so let me log into my server so it depends on the deployment of your website the first thing you need to do is to read the log so to see what is the problem so this is my deployment using docker so reading the log from docker is quite simple so just Docker logs on uh, dash F to follow and the name of the Docker container. So uh, that would be games Troy WP. And I want to just uh, get the latest let latest log. So not the history. So you see there's nothing here. But if I reload this, and there's something wrong here, now you see that clearly uh, this is PHP pass error, unexpected token. So there is a token here that is not supposed to be and where in this this file on line seven. So I see ah, there's something wrong here. So I'm using this this theme and the error is in this file. So it's quite simple. I need to access to this this file and fix the problem on line seven. So I exit exit the, the log and here I am in the theme folder of my um, WordPress site which is under WP content and theme and here is the problematic issue location so and I'm going to Vim and yeah you can use your favorite text editor but I use Vim most of the time function and go to line 7 and see that there's a question mark which shouldn't be here so I intentionally put it here to demonstrate the error so now if I delete that question mark and save the file I go back to my site and reload and everything is back to normal um, yeah that that's it sometimes most of the time it is quite straightforward like that but you always uh, can rely on the log to find out uh, where uh, is the problem and yeah if you can't uh, accept the server or you don't know code or no PHP so that would be a bit um, problematic but um, yeah 
if uh, you can see the lock that is quite simple straightforward uh, to fix so if you don't have with the site yeah my link is in the description thank you for watching i see you uh, in the next video